hello my beautiful viewers how are you all so in today's video i'm going to be telling you about my skin journey things i've been through about you know how i took care of my sensitive skin all the steps i took all the mistakes i made and you know everything you need to know about my skin because a lot of people have been asking me about my skin what i use and all of that and i just said as make a video about it so keep watching subscribe to my channel to know more it was 2016 you know now i'm a student in school so my roommates she was just telling me there are some things on your back like yeah i knew there were some things on my back but then i didn't think it was that serious i just noticed that my back was always itching me and silly me i itched it too and whenever i itched it i realized that it was like i was scratching something like a pimple and then when I itched it or scratched it back, it would um, it would pop, and then I would have like it would stop itching after I popped it. So I kept doing it over and over and over again until my roommate got really alarmed, and she told everybody. Everybody had to come and look at it because obviously I was not paying attention to her. I was I didn't even care. Like I didn't care about my skin those days. You understand? So. Everybody came and saw the skin and, you know, they started telling me, oh my god, your skin is so bad, what happened, what are you using? And I'm like, I'm not using anything, I'm just having my bag, using my baby cream, I always use this Hassan's baby lotion, I still use it till today. Just to tell you that I don't bleach, I don't do any of those things, yeah? I do, if I'm going to put anything on my skin, it has to be natural remedy or a drug, so not bleaching. But just keep watching, Sha. Just keep watching. So everybody in the room started giving me an idea on what to do. Oh, maybe you're having react. I was like, what's wrong with my skin? They snapped it and it was so horrible. It was so terrible. Like I didn't even know what to do. I was like, what is this on my skin? I, I started freaking out. Initially, I did not understand why she was making such a fuss about it because it was at my back and I could not see it. Have you had a back acne? It was kind of what I had, just that I don't think my own was acne. So I had to change my tongue that antiseptically could be poured in your drinking water. I stopped using um, the one I was using. I can't remember what it was I was using. But I stopped using it though. I stopped using it and I had to start using um, Robert. Robert the tongue. That, that green one. The reactions were still there. I told my mom, I showed her. She gave me antibiotics just in case the reactions were in the blood and all of that. I tried a lot of things, the reactions were not going and they were spreading. They came from the back to my ear. So it comes this way to the ear and then goes to the face. It covers, covers the whole ear then spread. So the way the liquid is, when you pop it, the liquid will spread. The liquid will spread and everywhere becomes becomes very you know it becomes it becomes like the reaction spread you understand so the reaction spread and i went to visit the dermatologist the dermatologist um that is a kind of annex to my school health center i got the nhis that the insurance um, form for students i got there they gave me a couple of drugs that was so expensive when i got there they were like it's just acne and i was like eh acne how can acne be that be that you know severe like I, i've had acne now i've seen people have acne and not this kind of acne but they gave me some medications anyway which i did not buy i personally my other brother was ready to buy it for me i personally told him not to buy it because I wasn't comfortable with spending so much money like it was just too expensive yeah it could have been it could have been effective but it was i was just not comfortable with that and i'm happy i wasn't comfortable with that so that's how i started trying out some things trying out a lot of things did not work until that same roommate who noticed all the reaction so she gave me a tube cream it's actually a kind of drug but in nigeria we, it's popularly called tube cream so the name of the cream is Neo Skin. She told me not to use it too much so that it can bleach. So I used the cream, it was very effective. And I used it the way they wrote, the way they labeled it to be used. So you use it like three to four times in a day. Ah, 
I used it like that. See my skin, my skin started coming down, started coming down. The only effect I it had that I did not like was the fact that it was lightening my skin. And the way this thing works is it will brighten your skin in a way that your skin will be fair, then your spots will be very black. So after some time I used it, my skin came back to normal but with a lot of spots. Then I stopped using it. And guess what? The reactions came back. I started thinking, Jay, yeah, God, this is how every time I'll be rubbing this cream. What if it bleaches me and start looking like Coca Fanta body? But I don't fancy such at all. So that's how I kept looking for. I didn't use it again, no. I decided to look for products that I could use in a way that once I use it, the results are gone and they're gone. So I kept trying no, to look for something I can use, you understand? But all I got, all I was given were bleaching so bleaching cream and they were just too expensive they were too expensive like when you go to the store when you go to the store you show them because it used to be on my face so i'll just show them say, ah they know it they know it i should buy this and this and this and that some even gave me one that when you rub it it has this cooling effect but it's not doing and it wasn't like doing anything on my skin it just cooled the itching down and that is it the problem was not going the way new skin like the way new skin works for me I'm not here to advertise new skin, I'm just telling you how I felt, you know. If possible, say I would be calling new skin, but it's, it's, it's my skin journey, so there's no how I would say my skin journey without mentioning new skin, you understand? So, yeah, I kept trying a lot of things, doing a lot of things, but none worked. So, I just had to go back to new skin, but I wasn't still happy because new skin when you stop using it the reactions come back and all of that so with time i just thought about it and you know these reactions i just feel is a hereditary something because my mom had my mom you know she's prone to it as well but i noticed she always uses neutrotone that's the tube cream that works for her neutrotone she always has stacks of it in her room but you know the funny thing neutrotone did not work for me so I had to look for the one that works for me and the one that worked for me was new skin so I went back to new skin unfortunately because using those creams for a long time is not is medically unadvisable so I started using new skin again but how I was using it once the reactions come immediately the slightest sign of it I will use this new skin so when it goes I stop it so that I don't start bleaching or any of that then along the line i opened my youtube channel you know because i started thinking there are a lot of people out there that have sensitive skin and are still battling with how to take care of their skin and they may do and use some harsh products i was lucky enough to not use any harsh products that would spoil my skin you understand because i tried a lot of things i was lucky enough with the grace of god so i started this youtube channel two years ago because i was so worried there are a lot of people that do not know how to use like how to take care of their sensitive skin and that is part of why I'm telling you my story, so that any, so that you can learn little things from, you know, from the steps I took. Yeah, yeah. So I started my YouTube channel, and you know, I had to do some research on natural remedies because at the end of the day, natural remedies are more effective and they are safe. Always best to use natural products on your skin. That is what I have noticed so far. Although once in a while, I still use my new skin. Let me tell you the tube creams that work for my skin reaction. Neo Skin Bio Coating. Neo Skin Bio Coating. Those are the two creams I would recommend for anybody having skin reaction. Neo Skin and Bio Coating. Then you can also, as you're using the Neo Skin, you can also use your turmeric. Turmeric is mainly, is mainly what I use. Do you know why I use turmeric? I used to, there was a period I was always like using turmeric on my whole skin. Yeah, I was always using turmeric on my whole skin because it gave desirable results. Like this is how turmeric works. The way turmeric works is it would make your skin glow. If you use it for so long, it could burn your skin. Your skin is very sensitive. So you try to use it only like three times in a week or two times in a week, depending on how sensitive your skin is. Then if you know you don't have sensitive skin, you can use it every day, but still be careful. Too much use of the turmeric can bleach you. 
but it can make your skin glow. Once you use it like two, three, and I'm not saying you should use the turmeric mask, the oil. Because if you use only the mask, your face will now be fair. Your whole body will now be darker than your face, and we don't want that. So use the oil, and if you're using the oil, wear dark colored clothes. You can watch my video on the proper way to use turmeric. Just go to my channel. So don't forget to subscribe. Okay, subscribe. So, um, yes. So I use the turmeric, and the turmeric made my skin glow it faded my scars it will make you look a bit fairer but not to bleach you it, except you use it too much like the turmeric made me look fairer and not only did it make me you know most of these other products when you use them they will make you look fairer but your spots will be very black like your spots will practically be like popping out and showing the whole world that you have spots on your face but this turmeric this turmeric basically faded my spots faded my scars that I dreaded so much and today I don't have that much scars I don't have that much spots like it's like a miracle basically it's like a miracle I never expected to marry to be that I just said okay let me try it the natural remedy of course before trying it I checked about I did research on whether I will react to it or whether I will not react to it so you have to be careful Yes, the natural product, but you still have to be careful what you know how you use the natural product. We have come to the end of this video. If you liked it, please like, share the video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, please type it in the comment box below. If you want more of this kind of videos, please tell me. I will make them.